After creating a quiz using Google Forms, you will need to share it with your students or participants who will be taking it. From the Google Drive dashboard, click on your form to open it. In the top right hand corner, where the share button used to be, now it says send form. By clicking this button, you can send your form to your students or participants who will be taking the quiz. Once you're here, a box will pop up in the middle of the screen, and you'll have an option to either uh, copy and paste the link to share the form, or you can also share the form via email by typing in someone's address and sending it that way instead. If you are sharing the form with a group of students or participants in the same room, you can take the link that is offered here and you can make it shorter. After highlighting the link, press Control C to copy and open a new tab and go to a URL shortening website such as bit.ly. So bit.ly. Once you're here, uh, click here and paste your URL by hitting Control V or right click and pasting and clicking shorten. And now we have a shortened version of this URL. You can then write down this shortened URL or shortened address on the board or you can type it on the screen you're presenting on to allow your participants to access this quiz in an easier way. After sharing your form with participants, a spreadsheet will be generated on your Google dashboard and drive and you will have two separate things. You'll have your quiz, your quiz or your survey's name, and that's still the form that you created. You also have a uh, responses spreadsheet. So every time someone opens up the form, fills out information, and submits it, it will generate into this spreadsheet. So we have to go ahead and open up this spreadsheet at the next step. Here you see all the responses so far. So on this quiz, we had first name, last name, homeroom teacher, and then we had questions one, two, and three, all three of these which were multiple choice. And then we had one short answer question on the right. To allow automatic grading, we have to make an answer key for this quiz. To do this, at the top of the screen, click on the form tab, and then click on go to live form. Once the form is open, we need to fill out this information um, with an answer key. So I'm going to make it first name answer, last name key, homeroom teacher, doesn't really matter. I'll make it Mr. Bone. And then I'm going to go through and answer each multiple choice question correctly. So which of the following is an inner planet? Would be Mars. Which is the third planet from the sun? Earth. How many planets are there in our solar system? Eight. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave this last one. I'm just going to type in a couple of letters. I can just type in... Um, I could, you could do an example answer there, but in this case I'm just going to type in a couple dots and then click on submit. Now it says my response has been recorded and if I go back to my tab for quiz one responses with my spreadsheet, you can see how now the answer key shows up on the bottom. Once we have created the answer key, we need to install a custom script called Flubaroo that will allow us to automatically grade these quizzes. At the top of the screen, click on where it says Tools, and then click on Script Gallery. From here, in the search box, we're going to type in the word Flubaroo, F-L-U-B-A-R-O-O, -O, and click on Search. And the second option here is called Flubaroo. We're going to install this script into our spreadsheet. And then once it asks for authorization, click on Authorize. And now it says Authorization Status. You can now run the script. Click on Close. And click on Close for the script gallery. Now notice at the top, there is a new option where it says Flubaroo. Click on this, and then click Grade Assignment. You'll have some options here. And it recognizes that there are some questions that identify students and other questions that can be worth a point value. In this case, the first three items on our form, first name, last name, and homeroom teacher, help identify the student. They will not be counted towards grading. Question number one, two, and three are all multiple choice. 
And I'm going to go ahead and say that these would be one point questions. I'll leave them for one point. And the last question was a short response question. It was, was open ended where students type in their answers. This will not be graded. Flubrew cannot grade uh, short answer questions. So we're going to click on skip grading and then click continue. Now we're given the option, we need to pick which submission on our spreadsheet will be the answer key. So to make it easy, I had my first name and last name answer and key on the answer key from before. I'm going to select that and click continue. This may take a few seconds to grade. And then it will create a new page on your spreadsheet that says Blueberry Grading Complete. And click on the button below to view the grades. Notice how this is a separate sheet, or a separate sheet on our spreadsheet. So we have student submissions. This is what was generated by the forms as they were completed. And now we have grades. Now there are only three possible, there are only three questions on this form that were graded. So what it does, it shows the total number of points each student received. It shows the percent correct, the time submitted, and then it has question number one, two, and three. At the bottom, it shows the percent of students who got this um, question correct. So for number one, 100% got it correct, great, no problems. Number two, only 40% were correct of our submissions. So it looks like uh, John Doe, Becky Jones, and Wayne Edward, they all had trouble. So because that was more than 50% that missed that question, it highlighted this with this orange color to let you know this is a problem question. So whenever you're looking over your results, you can tell what problem areas there are and how we can address this as a class. It also gives you the points possible at the top, the average points for all of your students, the counted submissions, how many students submitted an answer, and the number of low scoring questions.